世界は残酷なんだ Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Today we'll be updating you on all of the exciting things you might have missed on Attack on Titan. As we're sure you're aware, Attack on Titan is a Japanese manga series both written and illustrated by Hajime Isayama. It was adapted into a dark fantasy anime series in 2013, instantly becoming a huge success. It takes place in a world where civilization is separated into cities contained by walls because of the danger that looms outside. Over 100 years ago, humanity went almost extinct Extinct after the inception of mutant humanoids called Titans that eat human flesh on sight. The final season, season four, aired in December 2020, with its final episode airing on the 28th of March 2021. We hope you're ready. If you're here, we're guessing you're as emotionally invested in the finale as we are, and that you're looking to catch up before you watch it. So stay tuned because we'll let you know everything you might have missed on Attack on Titan in season three and give you a bit of a teaser. For what to expect in season four. Before we jump into the video, make sure to subscribe to our channel to keep updated on future videos like this and to turn on notifications so you don't miss out. Now, on to the good stuff. Season three finally gave us all answers we've been waiting for, and we are shell shocked. In the first half of the season, we see Commander Irwin and Squad Levi tirelessly attempt to overthrow the corrupt government headed by King Rod Reese. Doing so will allow them to replace him with Historia, Rod's illegitimate child and rightful heir to the throne. This turmoil ends up coming to a head when Rod kidnaps Historia and Aaron to ensure he's able to maintain royal control. Here, he reveals that the Reese family is in ownership of a unique Titan power known as the Founding Titan. He then ends up injecting. Himself with the serum, which ends up turning him into a humongous half beast set on course for the wall. However, Rod is intercepted by the two, and Historia kills him with the aid of Aaron. We're also finally given the grand reveal we've been waiting for the shocking truth the Titans are actually created by the people, blurring the lines between good and evil and merging the two as one. With this, we also learn, alongside Aaron, the even more shocking revelation that it was his own father that transformed him into a Titan in the home basement. Also, burying the memory that he ate his father after his first transformation. Doing so gave him the Reese power passed through generations as Aaron's father had previously eaten Queen Frida and killed most of the Reese family. Jaeger did so in hopes of passing the power down onto his son and therefore through his own family. Following this revelation, the Beast Titan is revealed to be Aaron's unknown half brother, Zeke Jaeger. Talk about a buried family secret. Aaron's half brother is in fact trying to capture him, so Marley. Has the coordinate power to control all of the Titans. During the same battle, Armin manages to distract Bernholt's colossal Titan, which allows Eren to rip the villain out of his Titan form. This in turn almost kills Armin after he is burned alive. Don't worry though, he's okay, and he ends up being healed through the use of a serum made of Titan spinal fluid, which causes him to shift into a Titan. After transforming, Armin eats Bernholt's body, which gives him the power to turn into the colossal Titan. Season 3 also Takes us back through history to the very beginning of the Titans, introducing a former race known as the Subjects of Ymir. It is revealed that Titans were actually created by man in order to destroy and conquer the world around them. Once this had happened, the Subjects of Ymir then used the Titans' power to create their own nation, Eldia, and in turn created the Eldian Empire. However, the Great Titan War ensured when King Karl Fritz withdrew himself from conflict, causing the specialty Titans to battle each other. This caused the land that had become Eldia. Eldia to become restored to its original state. King Karl Fritz then used the remaining power of the Titans to remove the memories of the subject of Ymir and instead built three walls of colossal Titan. He instilled a false belief to the remaining people that the only surviving humanity was inside the walls to divert anyone from leaving. He would also then be able to threaten to release the Titans if they were ever under attack. It was this wall of Titan that led Grisha Jaeger to attempt to infiltrate the war in order to possess power over the founding. Titan. We know he was pretty power hungry. Flashbacks later revealed that it was the technologically advanced nation of Marley that were the antagonists all along as they had previously set the Titans on Paradise Island in vengeance against the Eldian Empire's oppression. The first Reese King then controlled millions of colossal Titans and built the walls surrounding Paradise Island to protect it. The wall was never supposed to be used and was merely there as a threat. Season three ends with the Survey Corps standing beside the ocean, all basking in the beauty of 
seeing it for the very first time. The realization that the threat of another war against Marley looms over the group's head as the season ends. Talk about an eventful finale. What on earth does the final season have in store for us? If you've watched the season 4 trailer, you know we can all anticipate a lot of action. We'll see more Titan vs. Titan battles than ever, a war rage across the sea, land, and air, and an abundance of new characters join the show. We've gathered as much intel as we can to prepare you for the series finale and the final season in general. Buckle up, this is an exciting one. First, let's address the pretty hefty time jump. Four years. The fourth season premiere comes back with a four year time jump. It will focus a lot of attention on the nation of Marley across the sea. Marley is solely responsible for sending Titans to destroy and devour exiled Eldians in paradise and is evidently the main antagonist of the show. This means it's all going to come to a pretty intense head this season. In the new season, we'll find out why the Marleyan government is so desperate to have the founding titan power that Eren is currently in possession of. The season will too show us how Marley grooms specially chosen Eldians to become titan inheritors. We will also learn the motivation behind Eren's half-brother, Beast Titan, as well as the motivation behind Rainier Braun, the armor titan that formerly infiltrated the Paradise Island and joined the Survey Corps. We'll be introduced to a wealth of new characters throughout season 4. The new season will potentially introduce several new characters that we've seen in the manga. Most are Marleyan based and of Eldian descent. Some of the main figures we'll see join the show include Falco Grice, who is an Eldian warrior candidate. He possesses severe war injuries that almost disqualified him from becoming a potential Titan inheritor. Peak Finger, a sweet warrior with the alter ego of the Cart Titan, possessing devastating speed and endurance. Gabby Braun, an Eldian warrior cadet who is determined to become the armored Titan after Rainier, her cousin. Porco Gilliard, who inherits the Jaw Titan, power from Ymir. Willie Tiber, an Eldian noble whose family has possessed the Warhammer Titan power for many generations. Yelena, a Marleyan soldier and an incredibly loyal Zeke Jaeger, Aaron's half-brother, follower. The final season will introduce us to the Warhammer Titan, the final Titan to appear on Attack on Titan. Throughout the series, we have seen all nine Titan powers, but one, the Founding Titan, the Attack Titan, the Beat Titan, the Colossal Titan, the Female Titan, the Armored Titan, the Jaw Titan and the Cart Titan all have appeared already. The Warhammer Titan is the last to make an appearance and was seen in the Season 4 trailer clad in a skin-tight white suit. The Warhammer Titan is incredibly intelligent and has the ability to make weapons out of Titan flesh. The Nine Titans will all appear on a warpath battling each other. The Nine Titans will appear in the fourth and final season set on a bloodbath of a warpath. They may be possessed by new hosts and may also possess new powers. We saw the Cart Titan with heavy artillery on its back during the Season 4 trailer, as well as the Jaw Titan chewing up railway tracks. Don't forget, we'll also be seeing dozens of the common titans taking vicious action. Season 4 shows a new look for the Survey Corps of slumming it in a war-infested world for the last four years. The harsh reality of war has taken a huge toll on the Survey Corps, the trailer suggests. In the teaser, we saw the Survey Corps with modified weapons and maneuver gear alongside a new all-black uniform. Some of the team look rather different from where we last saw them, perhaps a little worse for wear after the few years they've been through off-screen. A bit of a dark side from Eren. Eren arguably becomes somewhat of a villain in this next season. If you've not read the manga, expect to see Eren rampage and slaughter a huge group of civilians after infiltrating Marley without informing the rest of the survey crew. We may also see the added disturbance of a rebel group, hell-bent on following Eren. The survey corps will learn of a rebel group, the Jaegerists, who are fervently rallying behind Eren during the final season. They believe only he can free and prevent them from the clutches of the new Eldian. Empire. Season 4 will also be jam-packed full of more historical context as long as the return of a familiar titan. We'll be provided with the origin story of Ymir Fritz, the first titan from over 2,000 years ago, and how she was manipulated after death by King Fritz to raise the Nine Titans and the Pure Titans. In fact, Eren meets her himself. Annie, the female titan, will also rise again after being left in a comatose state after crystallizing herself in Season 1. 
After regaining consciousness, we'll watch her join in on the Marley Paradise War. That's all the intel we have for you guys in this video. So there you have it. Everything you might have missed during Season 3 and everything you might be able to expect from the final season. We thought the last one was intense, but we have a feeling Season 4 is going to be more dramatic than ever, and we can't wait to watch and see how it ends. Remember to subscribe to our channel to keep up with future videos like this, and turn notifications on in order not to miss out. See you next time, and happy binging!